Hi, I'm Tim, and you are watching Game Dev Bits. As always, a huge thanks to my patrons, without whom none of this would be possible. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Uh, today, we're doing a showcase of my latest asset to give away. It's a set of spawners uh, for Gaia from Procedural Worlds using Polygon Nature from Cinti Studios. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Gaia is a world generation tool that you can use to create environments really quickly. Uh, it does everything from spawn the terrain, stamp it, let you create mountains, islands, valleys, rivers, plains, everything that you need. And then spawners run on top of the terrain and do things like apply the texture, put in the trees, bushes, grass, rocks, all of that stuff. So let's dig in and see what the pack includes. Now the first thing that runs is the texture spawners that create the textures on the terrain. So I've built those to take advantage of slopes. So we can see things like grass texture where it's flat. Then we've got the sandy textures and then dirt more towards where the water is. Uh, I've also integrated a lot of noise to break up large flat surfaces. So here on this, this cliff surface where things are a little bit steeper, we've got multiple types of rock texture and then we've got this sandy texture thrown in as well. Just so we don't get those large flat areas covered with with just a single texture. You'll still see some of those and some of that is the limitation of how terrain works. But what I'm doing is what I can to, to make a difference in there. Across the terrain, we're using that that noise. So we see here, even underwater, we've got some variety with the, the rock. And then we've got these, these large scale area differences with different areas. Just to make sure that there's lots of variety in the terrain and things don't get too repetitive. All right. Now let's go look at some of the spawners and see some of the things that I really love. So we've got multiple tree spawners in the pack and a lot of those are designed to keep the trees close together and get things bunched up and looking a little bit more natural. Let's see over here. We've got trees with companions, bushes, there's grass nearby. Everything kind of sticks together, which is great. Uh, a lot of spawners by default have scattered trees that kind of stand on their own all the time. Uh, we've got rocks that spawn on the terrain. Uh, all you need to do is set a tag and rocks will actually get these companion rocks and things that, that scatter around them. Uh, this shot here, this is actually my favorite look out of the, the pack, finding where these spots spawn, the rocks that spawn just inside the water with these little buddy things around them. Uh, this is using the Polygon Nature water shader and from just the right angles, this looks absolutely incredible. So let's head uh, a little bit further over and look for, here we go. Uh, one of the things that the pack can spawn is these little groves. So there is the possibility of uh, these larger trees spawning these companion trees to go with them. Uh, then they also get these grasses in various lengths. There's some, some wheat and grass ready to, to pop sitting in amongst there to, to keep things looking natural. It's a really nice find when you stumble across these, uh, these little groves just kind of hanging about. Uh, we've also got, uh, we've got the companion bushes and the grasses that sit around uh, the base of our trees along with the buddy trees. So they can help to, to make things look a little less lonely and, and coming together. Uh, you'll notice there's a texture change around the base of the tree here. So there's actually some random noise applied across the whole map and a possibility for a tree to show up with either this dirt texture or a fallen leaf texture at its base just to create a little bit of flavor around the base of the, the trees. And you'll see these large rocks that spawn in the terrain. But if we come up to the bigger view, you can see that there are areas here with rocks and then areas without because all of these spawners are based on some large scale world noise maps with very sharp edges to create defined areas and boundaries within things so that you can get lots of variety and, and contrast. Now we go down to where you can, here we go, see the grass, get the terrain details to pop back in. You'll see another one of those noise maps coming into play there as well. So we have this, this rich tapestry of grass that helps to, to bring things to life. But then there are areas where there's no grass spawning and a little bit of difference in the texture. So that you can make your world feel a little bit more natural and things will change over time. 
We've got another small grove of trees in here. We've got a, a large collection of bushes, grass, and then over in this area you'll see these flowers have popped up. Now the flowers you can see are running through here but not over here. That's another noise map at large scale pushing things through. Uh, there's a single spawner that drives the flowers, so it's easy to dig in and change that colour if you want something other than, than blue. I've got the instructions on the itch page on how to, to get in and do that. Here's another grove of trees that has spawned over here. And it just, it feels like a really natural place to be. You know, you've got a grove over here, there's a tree with some other life springing up around it. And then you look around, there's a grove... We've got a patch with less grass in it. It's all just waiting for you to be able to drop in a, a village or a town, carve some roads, those kind of things. We've got a little grass clearing here with some trees and leading over into... Here we go. And if things turn out just right on your terrain, you can end up with one of these. This large grove of trees. Spawns near some rocks. It's just a little gathering area. It's a really natural spot in amongst everything. And then because of the noise map, things peter out away from it. Uh, all of the rocks that spawn in the terrain have a chance to have their little buddy rocks come in. Uh, Texture-wise, you can see over here, we've got the, the bit of the rock texture to blow, break up the cliff wall here which is where things are a little bit steeper and we're using that noise map to blend it together. And then we've actually got these small rocks that are scattered across the sandy texture and you'll notice there's some color change in those because they're actually spawning using the same system that grass does. So these rocks are spawning with a, a healthy color that says they're rock colored and then that bluish gray that's coming in just to add a bit of variety so we don't have all of our rocks the same color really helps to, to bring a little bit of life in there. Now, on this particular map, uh, there is a spot over here in the mountains that I always love to check how it spawns. Here we go, heading up towards the mountains. Lots of grass, trees. There's a scattering of grass coming up this slope. And then we come up in here and lost in this little canyon buried up in the mountains. We've got grass and flowers and some rocks that go up the wall. Now, the best part about this biome is that because it generates, you can recreate it any time. So while we're here up in this canyon, let's select our biome. And then we'll just say spawn. Uh, it'll run through 34 total rules. And we get a different world created. So we go again... Here we go. Now we've got a little lonely tree that's spawned up in the, the mountains. So the texturing will stay the, the same because obviously those rules are consistent based on slope, height and sea level. But you'll see that we've now got a, a completely different world. So here just below the base of the mountain we've got this this large grove of trees with this, this ring that spawned around the, on that noise map. We've got one in here and then back over where we were before. Instead of that large grove of trees, we've got a, a bit of a clearing and some patchiness and then this large rocky area that sits in here. Uh, for the pack, so I've created this single biome game dev bit Sinti Nature. Uh, in it you'll find uh, there is a spawner for all of the ground textures that has all of the rules. Uh, there's one for the large trees that also does the companions, the bushes, the buddy trees, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, the ground rocks, which spawns the rocks themselves. Uh, plus the companions, the buddy rocks, the large rock piles. Brings all of that together. Uh, the grass clutter. That spawns the grass, the flowers, the wheat, the grass around the trees, uh, and the small clutter rocks that sit here and then decoration uh, this one just spawns scattered in amongst where are we here we go we've got a, a small selection of of logs that exist around the world
And that's all there is to it. So that's available to download right now. Thank you so much for coming on the tour with me. And that is the Game Dev Bits Gaia Nature Spawner. Thank you so much.